Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to delete files that are older than a specific date and also of a certain type using the command line. So if this is something you're going to do on a lot of folders, uh, you might want to try this out rather than having to go search for the files or sort through things, you know, look at subfolders and that type of thing, and then delete them from there. All right, so we have a couple commands here. So the first one here is to show the files, and then the second one is to delete them. All right, so we have four files and then slash p for the path. So you put in the path with the quotes here. So we're going to do it in documents. And then we have the slash s, so it'll search in subfolders. And then the slash m for our mask. So we're going to do star.pdf. So you can make this anything else. Or you could do star.star .star if you want to do everything. All right, and then we have the slash d to select files of a certain date. So older than 365 days, so one year. And then the command. The first one is to echo, so we'll just show it on the screen, and then the second one is to actually delete them. All right, so we're going to copy this command here first. All right, so we'll open up our command prompt here, paste it in. You don't have to be in the directory since we're pointing to it here. All right, so this shows us the files that match the criteria. So we even have so many subfolder here, PDF files, so application, contacts, and file list right here at the bottom. Then we have our other PDF files here. All right, so that shows our listing. So now we'll go back here, same command, just change echo to delete. Copy that. Let's clear the screen here. Paste it in. No confirmation or anything. And you can see the PDFs are gone from there, and they're gone from there as well. So pretty easy to do. All right, so once again, you can just use this command and just edit it to suit your needs. You know, you obviously, you're going to have to edit the path here and the date and the mask here, too, as well, assuming you want to use one, unless you want to just delete everything. And then if you want to include subfolders or not, and then I would definitely use echo first just to see what it's going to do before you actually run it with delete. All right, so I'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it and edit it as needed. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.